such a great group that we're going to lead off with our cheer squad. First up, please welcome Anna Donnelly, escorted tonight by her parents, Megan and Aaron Donnelly. Anna plans to pursue further studies at Oliver Nazarene University or Taylor University. Next up, please welcome Caitlin Force. Caitlin's parents are Gina Kenyon and the late Philip Ford. Tonight she is escorted by Gina Kenyon and her older brother, Dominic Force. Caitlin is planning to go to ICC to study agriculture and business. Our next senior, welcome please, Peyton Forney. Here with her parent, Lori Forney. Peyton's future plan is still undecided. Next up, Taylor Gardner. Here tonight with her parents, Wendy and Rob Gardner. Taylor plans to attend the University of Missouri to double major in psychology and criminology within the Honors College. Our next senior, Sydney Goforth. Here tonight with her parents, Leah and Scott Goforth. Sydney will be attending Bradley University, majoring in graphic design. Our next senior, welcome, Maggie Jewell. With her parents, Dr. Jennifer and Matt Jewell. Maggie hopes to go to the University of Illinois to study psychology. Next up, please welcome Sarah Manning. Sarah here tonight with her parents, Julie and Tom Manning. Sarah plans to attend a four-year college majoring in animal science. And our last senior cheerleader, Sarah Mathis. Here tonight with her parents, Lori and Bruce Mathis. Sarah plans to attend Marquette University as a biomedical science major plans to get her master's degree and become a physician's assistant. Our senior cheerleaders. Next up, let's welcome our senior dance team members. And first up, welcome please, Lily Brock. Here tonight with Carrie and Tom Brock. Lily is planning to study marine biology and environmental law at the University of Tampa. Next up, please welcome Janae Glick. Here tonight with her parents, Jeanette and Ralph Glick. Janae plans to attend ICC for two years and then move on to get a degree in elementary education. Our next dance team senior, Grace Hunt. Here with her parents, Jennifer and Jason Hunt. Grace will be studying pharmacy at a four-year university. Our next senior, Ava Kluszewski. Here with her parents, Colleen and Charles Kluszewski. Ava plans to major in exercise science on a pre-athletic training track. Our next dance team senior, please welcome Cameron Manwery. Here with her parents, Amy and Michael Manwery. Cameron plans to study world history at Butler University. Coming up close behind, Kendall Manwaring. <laughs> Kendall plans to attend the University of Colorado at Boulder and major in criminal justice.
Our next senior, Carly Schaefer. Here tonight are her parents, Tina and Dave Schaefer. Carly will plans to major in nursing to become a labor and delivery nurse. Next up, our senior, Madison Trier. Here with her parents, Katie and Greg Trier. Madison plans to study nursing at Illinois State University. And our final dance team senior, please welcome Jamie Willard. Here with her parents, Amy and Kelly Willard. Jamie plans to study nutrition at Indiana University. Go Hoosiers. Huh. Kelly's not going to like that. Our senior dance team. No, the Kelly's a big one. The Kelly's a big one. I think he just did it. Next up, we're pleased to announce and recognize our basketball seniors. First up, please welcome Luke de France. To the parents, Kelly and Jeff de France. Luke plans to attend ICC and then transfer to the University of Illinois for business and sports management. Our next senior, Solomon Schwartz. Here with his parents, Lisa and Eric Schwartz. Solomon plans to study business, college yet undecided. Next up, let's welcome Zach Schroeder. Here tonight with Kim and Tom Schroeder and his parents. Zach plans to attend college and study pharmaceutical science and play basketball. Next up, Kaiser Quick. Here are his parents, Christy and Brett Quick. Kaiser's plan is still undecided. I was missing a Jake Nealon, now I see him. Let's welcome Mr. Jake Nealon. Here are his parents, Bridget and Mark Nealon. Jake will study civil engineering and construction management at either Bradley or Iowa State. And next up, let's please welcome Jeremy Lyon. Here's the name of his parents, Jeanette De Laurentiis, escorted by Jeanette De Laurentiis and Jonathan Lyon. Jeremy will initially attend ICC, transfer to Illinois State for a degree in business administration, he plans to work as a manager or director for a retail company. Let's hear it for our basketball seniors. That's a lot of talent out there. Thank you, seniors and parents, escorts. Appreciate you very much.
cheerleaders and dancing on your feet for the playing, singing of our school song. Welcome to Menomora for tonight's Mid-Illini Conference matchup between the visiting East Peoria Raiders and your Menomora Redbirds. Welcome to Tepke Gym, Colton Kaler alongside Scott Kirker. Scott, uh, Menomora comes in at 16-6 and six on the year, 7-1 and one in the Mid-Illini. First place in Mid-Illini with a two-game lead over Morton, um, it, but not an easy test here tonight against the pesky East Peoria team. Yeah, you know, East Peoria, a much better team than what you know, that we kind of thought they were going to be. They had some kids transfer in right before the beginning of the school year, and um, they're, they're a, you're like, you're right, they're, they're a very pesky team, and if you don't come out and play hard, you're going to get bit. Yeah, East Pier is a team that is kind of hot and cold oftentimes. They come with a record of two, 12 and 8 on the season, 2 and 5 uh, in the Middle Atlantic Conference. Tonight's a special night for the Redbirds. It's senior night here, so the Redbirds honored their five seniors. Uh, and they will be the five starters tonight for the Redbirds. Luke DeFran, Solomon Schwarz, Zach Schroeder, Kaiser Quick, and Jake Nealon. First meeting of the year between the two teams here. Uh, first matchup was supposed to be in December. That one got postponed due to uh, COVID-19 within the East Peoria program. Home sweet home, Redbirds back again after a successful trip out last time here at home when the Redbirds won all three games of the Redbird Round Ball Classic. Redbirds are on a four game winning streak. Um, you know, Menomore beat Canton, Chicago Limblum, and Bradley Bourbonnet in the Redbird Classic. Speaking of the Redbird Round Ball Classic, uh, Menomore took home quite a lot of hardware from that tournament, obviously the team trophy, but then had four players named to the all-tournament team and the all-tournament MVP, Ethan Kaiser. And when you look at Menomore, it's really the core four. That's uh, through about the last two years of Swanson, Schroeder, Kaiser, and Tucker. Uh, Tucker that have really led the way for the Redbirds. Yeah, it, it's uh, it, it's been those guys. Uh, most teams have maybe two or three guys, maybe. We've got four. Anyone, any given night, those guys can go off for 20, 25, or in case, Kaiser's uh, case, he went off for 30 twice. Looking at the matchup between uh, Metamore and East Peoria in the history of it, um, I believe Coach Greaves has only lost twice in his 11 years here at Menomora, um, according to Max Prep, so take it for what you will. Um, but Menomora's won seven out of the last eight. The one lone win for East Peoria was my senior year in the Redbird Round Ball Classic here, yep. that opening game that we lost uh, to the Raiders there. And it's in the first time he ever played East Peoria, his first year at Menomora, over there he lost. Yes, I believe so. Uh, you know, looking at the, um, you know, results last year, Two matchups go back to last year, or this year, no, last year, yep. Uh, Metamore won 50-39 and 72-42. Why don't we take this time and talk to the Redbird head coach. Well, here we are once again with Metamore head coach Danny Greaves. Coach, uh, boy, it's it's a cold night outside and it's a packed house here. Senior night, a little bit early this year, but uh, still senior night in a packed house. 
the weather just reeks of basketball, you know? <laughs> yeah, it does. And, and we just, we're looking forward to a big night. We got a big weekend planned, you know, one game at a time, though. We're still trying to defend our home court. East Peoria is one of those teams that, on paper, you know, the record doesn't look real great, but, you know, they won a, a Christmas tournament. They're playing better, and uh, and right now they're playing the best ball they're, they're their season, so we're looking forward to a good game. Well, they're probably one of the best coach teams in the conference. Uh, Ger uh, John Gershnich came over from Canton, uh, has done you know a really uh, an outstanding job at East Peoria. Well, before there, he was at a junior college. Oh, and, yeah, that's right. You know, if, you, if you think about it, he, he's one of the toughest guys in order to try to prepare for. You know, and, and he does a great job on on making you know uh, different connections with different things you do. So it's going to be a good game. And then you throw in the fact that they've got a former Illini on their coaching staff, D.J. Richardson, too. It's a pretty solid coaching staff. Yeah, D.J. is a good young kid. He's, he's trying to learn the business, and he's, he's learning from a good guy. He's got a nice mentor over there in East Peoria. Metamore comes on to the court. Coach, uh, big weekend last weekend, kind of trying to build off of that momentum. Uh, like you said, uh, a conference game here tonight. you got a big game tomorrow night, too. Uh, I think from here on out, the rest of your games are pretty important basketball games. Well, we've got nine regular season games left. We're only guaranteed ten because we've got uh, at least one game in the playoffs. So we're making them all count. We had a really good week of practice. Uh, we're almost all healthy, and uh, we'll be uh, raring to go tonight. Coach, we'll let you get going here. To, uh, any changes in your lineup tonight? Uh, we're going to start all five seniors. Oh, that's nice. Coach, bring home a W. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Welcome back to Metamora. About set for the uh, national anthem starting lineup and introductions. So let's turn it over to PA address PA announcer Gary Baranowski. Yeah. 
There you have it, starting lineups for both teams. Again, the Redbirds bring out DeFranz, Schwarz, Schroeder, Quick, and Nealon, the five seniors here tonight. Redbirds and Raiders ready to tip it off in the 23rd game of the season for Metamore. Oh, oh uh, we're going to re tip <laughs> it. Yeah. That might be a violation, too. Are you going to redo it again? Yeah, yeah, that's a violation. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention, so didn't quite see what happened. It helps if you pay attention. <laughs> so here's Mabels with the ball for the Raiders. You know, East Perry did pretty well in their Christmas tournament. I think they won it. I'm not sure yeah. where that was. At. Was that in Collinsville? Uh, it was... Uh, oh, I think of it here in a second, but an easy basket there. That's Jack Dubois. No, excuse me. AJ Reinders. It was Williamsfield. Williams, okay. Jack Dubois, the son of Brad Dubois. A Metamora star back in the, the uh, mid 90s. That's Williamsville, by the way, not Williamsfield. Jake Nealon with the move underneath, had it block, gets his own rebound, back up and in, puts the Redbirds on the scoreboard, ties it up at two. So he gets a point and a rebound, rebound on that one. Filled up the stat sheet on one trip. Redbirds defensively in a man-to-man -man defense. Drive by Chown, shot up, oh. finds its way in. Just hung up there forever. Saul Chown. East Pure has a relatively young team. And only three seniors on the team. Zach Schroeder travels, yes, he did. Slow start here for the Redbirds. Two possessions for East Pure and two baskets. Gives them the 4-2 lead, 6.30 to play. A three from Reinders, no. Rebound Schroeder, Schroeder splits the defense quickly the other way. Solomon Schwarz with the drive, layup, oh, got it. Nice move by Solomon Schwarz. Set up by the screen there from Nealon. Was able to hold off the defender. Allow an open lane for Schwarz. Ties it up at four. They've got the mismatch underneath. They tried going to him and that's yeah. the block. Yep. Kaiser Quick did not like the call. I, th I thought there was a little bit of uh, leaning, you know, by the offensive player. Typically, when they get that shoulder down more times than not, they get called for it. That was deflected, but Chown's able to get it, stolen by the Redbirds. Not sure who got their hand in there, and knocked it away. We're gonna get our first subs of the game: Tucker Swanson and Kaiser. Three corner, Nealon can't get it to go. Rebound to Du Bois. Yeah. 
Rippers are being worked early. Three up and good. Saul Chown gives East Peoria the 7-4 lead. 5-10 left to play here in the opening quarter. Scott, you know, you, you went through a senior night. Um, is it anywhere, was it anywhere near what it is now? Um, it used to be an even bigger thing. They used to give the student section to, um, they used to give the student section all rolls of toilet paper and after we scored the first bucket, it would, the floor would just get covered in, in toilet paper. And there'd be a technical, but they knew it was coming as the uh, DeFrance, Schwarz, and Kaiser come off the floor and um, Ethan Kaiser, uh, Swanson and Tucker. Swanson, yeah, they all come in, more slaps on a press, and East Pure handles it fairly well. Miscommunication on the defensive end from Menamore. Moore. They're lucky to get away with it. Swanson with the rebound. Quickly the other way, Swanson up and in. From Jake Nealon, 7-6 East Peoria lead. Now, if you ooh, quickly the other way is East Peoria. They had numbers. Jack Dubois up. They beat the Redbirds down the court. As I mentioned, East Peoria is a team that kind of runs hot and cold. Uh, they played a close game against Morton where they lost, and then they got blown out by Morton. Drew Tucker with the drive. Tough shot. Can't get it to go. Tucker looks like he's got a little bit of a haircut since the last time we've seen him. He does. He looks more like uh, Tyson Swanson now, doesn't he? Looks like, Ty looks like they all got haircuts. Because Tyson looks like he has one too. Other way. Tipped out. Rebound to Tucker. Menomora. Got to find an answer here. Down three. Drive basket. Kick out. Getting Ethan Kaiser three. No. Jack Dubois drives, pulls up, floater good. East Peoria, everything going their way as of right now at the 11-6 lead, 3-10 to play. Next dead ball will be a masked timeout. East Peoria's getting a lot of easy buckets, Scott. Is there something that you're seeing defensively uh, from Metamora? Acrobatic uh, finish, Zach Schroeder up and in. Cuts it back it, to a one possession game. A lot of it is, is that they're just beating us on the on our press. They're finding the right guy. They're finding the guy open. Kaiser Quick is set to check back in. That's off. Oh, charge. charge. Or uh, travel, travel, excuse me. That'll be a mask timeout. So we get the, the mask timeout. 11 8. East Peoria as we head into the first mask timeout here in this first quarter. I, I think a lot of it just has to do with Metamore just settling down a little bit on, on defense. Um, and you're right, they've had some easy buckets. Jack Dubois uh, has gotten some easy buckets in the lane. His dad made a living here in Metamore making that very same shot. Nice crowd here tonight. Very nice crowd. Not typical when you got senior night. Um, senior night for both the cheerleaders dance team and the basketball team. Now, you mentioned the toilet paper. Have you seen the uh, the silent night tradition? It's, I think it's done at a D3 or an NAIA school. I've not seen that. So uh, I believe it's like right before Christmas or in December is a silent night where the I mean the entire it's probably the size of our high school gym here, our gym here, Tepke Gym. And it's packed with students. And they come in these weird costumes and everything. And they are dead silent for the first nine points that their team scores. But as soon as quick drive and assist there from Schroeder to Kaiser Quick nice for Metamora. Real nice cut to the basket 
So the, it, it's completely so, silent. So it's completely, I mean, you hear nothing but the squeak of the shoes and coaches. Basket good there on the pass, Jack Knapp. Back and forth game here, 10, 13, 10, East Peoria lead. But once that 10th point hits, the gym goes nuts and the entire court is rushed. Now, they, again, they get the technical, but it's a tradition that they have done for years. I can't think of a college three from Kaiser in and out. Getting a three on the way. Up no good, rebound Kaiser. That three was from Jones. Zach Schroeder, dish and dive again to Kaiser Quick. Kaiser Quick with the Redbirds. Six of, has half their points, six points for Quick early. He has six? He's got six points here. Oh. I thought he only had four, but okay. Oh no, you are right. He's only got four, excuse me. Schroeder with another rebound. Quickly work it down, tough shot. Swanson with a tough finish, up nice. and in. Another nice pass though from Kaiser Quick. Gives the Redbirds their first lead of the night. Yes, their first lead. No, I believe Quick does have six. So that would, in my scorebook, that gives us 14. Finish up and in, Jack Knapp. Redbirds just not able to grab the ball there. And Moore's gonna work it down for one shot here with 15 seconds. East Peoria leads 15-14, but that's tipped. Gonna stay here. Nas Jackson, freshman, with the good defensive play there. Drew Tucker at the buzzer, but he's fouled first. Fouled on the floor. It's too bad I did think he got fouled there though. Nas Jackson picks up the foul. So Redbirds will have to work here with three seconds. Kaiser three, short. That'll be it for the first quarter of play. East Peoria leads 15-14. Scott, you got our sponsors? Angie Powers at Keller Williams, Premier Realty, Black, Black, and Brown, Attorneys, Commerce Bank, Kevin Kyle at Edward Jones, Germantown Grill, Goodfield State Bank, Logo Wear, Mason Funeral Home, Metamore McDonald's, Michael's Italian Feast, MVP Mobile DJ Service, Snyder Village, and Zoberst Insurance. So Metamore will come out. It looks like uh, what would normally be their starting lineup, Schroeder, Kaiser, Swanson, Kaiser Quick in there as well. So the same Kaiser group they Quick, ended yeah, with. Yeah. And Drew Tucker. It'll be Metamore Ball to start this second quarter. So as we were saying with the silent night and the um, toilet paper that you mentioned, there's also a minor league hockey team that they do a, a bear toss where, you know, stuffed animal, you throw it out on the ice. It'd in be the, more in, interesting to throw a real bear out there. In, in the middle of the game, they broke a world record this last year. Ooh, Tyson Swanson up and in. They broke a world record of over 15,000 bears were on the ice that they had to clean up in the middle of the game. Wow. 16-15, Menomore lead. Nice pass from Tucker. Nick Torno in the game for East Peoria. Surprised to not see him at all in the first quarter. Good help defense there from Metamora. 
It's a good switch. Making East Peoria work here in the first minute. The thing that's nice about it is Metamore can switch on just about anybody. They're all about that same size. And oh, nice defense. Jackson drive, tough shot. He threw it up and in. Gives East Peoria the lead right back. A back and forth game here between the Redbirds and the Raiders. A minute and a half into the quarter. And that one's stolen by Jones. He's going to drive, lay up, good. Austin Jones with the steal and the basket. Unfortunately, Kaiser Quick's got to be a little bit stronger with that one. Yeah. Devin Dunn set to check in at the next dead ball, sporting a new haircut. <laughs> it seems like a lot of them got haircuts. It, it does. And Kaiser Quick turns that one over again. Good fake there. They tried dumping it down, a smart play, but just too hot of a pass. Turnover back to the Redbirds. Dunn replaces Quick. Run a set play there for Swanson and up and in. It. First three point basket of the night for Metamora. Swanson ties it up at 19. 520 left to play. East Peoria is a team, if you let them hang around, they will get you. They're going to get a foul, yep, on Schroeder. Wow, I, I, I didn't see that. Yeah, he got him across the arm coming down. You look at East Peoria's record this year, as I mentioned, 12 and 8. You said they had a very good holiday tournament, which they did at Christmas time. They've beat uh, Quest Academy, three here. Now, Jackson, no good. Schroeder hustles, but he throws that one out of bounds. It'll be, it was uh, Metamore Ball. Nice job by Schroeder to avoid that carom. So Metamore has a chance to regain the lead. Five minutes to go, second quarter. This game's moving right along. East Peoria's beat Roanoke Benson, Eureka, Canton, Delavan. They've played a little smaller school schedule this year. Swanson, tough shot, can't get it to go, was almost being mugged underneath. Jackson with a quick crossover. There's Jones going to work. Dive, Torno, shot too strong, but he gets his own rebound. Kicks it back out for a Jones three, good. Gives East Peoria the lead right back, 22-19. Right now, just seems like Menomore is kind of a little bit of a sleep, three to tie it. Swanson can't get it. That's going to stay here, though, yep. with the Redbirds. East Peoria is being the aggressor here. We had a mass timeout. And they've got the lead here over halfway through the second quarter, 22-19. You just have this feeling, though, at some point, that constant pressure that Metamore applies is going to kind of take over. Yeah, but I really haven't seen the pressure applied so far here tonight by Metamore. I, I, I think they're playing good defense. I think that, you know, and a, a lot of the ball handlers for East Pure are awfully young. A freshman and I think a sophomore. Um, and they've gotten some balls to just go in for them. They have. I, you know, nights you'll have shots like that that find their way in. It's... How is Metamore going to weather the storm? Looking around the middle line yeah. real quick uh, at the timeout. Canton's one conference win, I believe, this year uh, over Morton. Over Morton. They are currently down 38-9 to in the second quarter. Two. Morton. Morton. Canton 2-17 on the year. 
looking around the middle line I standings as we mentioned Metamore has the uh, two game lead over Morton Washington would be a game behind if they would have won tonight depending on the result of this one so out of timeout it's the same group that we just had they're going to throw Ali to Kaiser oh, and he missed it it was there. Yep. Jones, 15 footer good. Boy, he comes in and he's he's on fire. That's their largest lead, five points. He's we pure. need a bucket. He's pure has received a few transfers. It's surely paying off. That one was tipped, gonna yep. stay here. If you're at home and uh, you know, don't know the Culture around East Peoria, they have brought on DJ Richardson, former Illinois great, onto the staff. He's an assistant coach. And Shirley has helped out with trying to turn this program around. East Peoria is applying all the pressure right now. Kaiser drives, kicks, three, Swanson, no. And right now, we don't have anybody down there rebounding. No. Kaiser has missed his first five shots of the night, unlike what we saw last weekend. Oh, stripped by Schroeder, but can't get it. Those are typically balls Metamore sees go their way. Chown can't get it, rebound Swanson. Devin Dunn quickly the other way. Kaiser pump fakes, hands it off to Dunn. Very active hands here from East Peoria. Kaiser gonna try his luck, no. Pump fake by Jackson on the drive. Got lucky there, just threw it up into no man's land. Oh, that one's lazy pass. Tucker fouled, and he got it. In. That's a heck of a play by Drew Tucker. What a turn of events there by Tucker. First real chance Menamore has had. Tucker's got a chance to make it a three-point play at the line and tie this game, no, excuse me. Bring within pull, two. Yes, pull it within two. Free throw up and good. good. So two-point game, 24-22, East Peoria leads. Let's see if Matamora can turn up the heat here in the kitchen. Dubois drives, tough shot, he's gonna get fouled. Maybe the arms came down just a little, ooh, no, they're calling it on Dunn. Ooh. I figured it would've been on Kaiser. Third team foul sends Dubois the line to shoot a pair. First one up and good. Second one up and good as well. So they take back their two possession lead. Bring out a little press of their own here. How's Metamore gonna respond? East Peoria has been throwing all the punches here early. Metamore had the slim 14-13 lead. Drive by Schroeder up and in. That's a pretty good answer. 26-24. <laughs> Ooh, almost threw it away there. Gonna get it back to Mabel's. He traveled. And we're gonna get a oh, timeout time out. out of East Peoria. So with 102 left play in the half, East Peoria leads 26-24.
You know, the interesting thing that for this is that we're going to turn around and play them again on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. One oh two to go here in the first half. Redbirds only trail by two. Metamore needs another stop. Need a few stops and a few buckets. See if they can turn things around. Looking at the press, Associated Press 3A State poll this week. Metamore not inside the top ten, but they did receive votes with a 16 and six record. But Moore has same same group out there that they had before the timeout. They're gonna throw it in, it was tipped. It's gonna go to Metamora. Swanson corrals it. Works it to Schroeder, pump fake done. He's gonna drive. Metamore tried to get the timeout, couldn't get it. Schroeder acrobatic finish. Good. Oh man, what a play, Zach Schroeder. Ties it up at 26. Brought that thing down to his ankles. Heck of a play though by Swanson to get the steal. They're just gonna work the dribble handoff here. Try and work this down. Mabel's guarded by Tucker. We're at 13 left on the clock. Here's Jones. Going to size up Schroeder. Crossover from the free throw line. Step back, can't get it. Rebound to East Peoria. Torno from just inside the free throw line. Got it. And that'll end the first half. East Peoria takes a two-point lead into the halftime locker room. 28-26 East Peoria lead. Metamore has just got to find a way to chase down some of those loose balls that East Peoria is getting to right now. And, and everything seems to be going right for East Peoria. We'll step aside. We'll uh, come back with the second half and our first half stats. Metamora, we're here at the halftime break of our game here tonight between Metamora and the East Peoria Raiders. East Peoria had the 28-26 lead going in the halftime locker room, and the last possession was uh, pretty well the epitome of the first half uh, between for this game. East Peoria gets the 50-50 ball, and they find a way to put it up and in at the buzzer. Uh, Nick Torno with that shot. For the Redbirds, they are led by Tyson Swanson with nine points, three of four from two, one of two from three. Zach Schroeder with six points on three of three shooting. Solomon Schwartz, two points on one of one. Three points from Drew Tucker, one of two shooting, one of one from the line. Kaiser Quick with six points as well. That does the scoring for the Redbirds. No points from Ethan Kaiser uh, in the first half. For East Peoria, they are led by Austin Jones with eight points. Jack Dubois with six, AJ Reinders with two, Nas Jackson with two, Nick Torno with the two there at the buzzer, and four points from Jack Knapp. That does the scoring for the Raiders. Uh, Scott, you know, just some balls that Metamore has got to find a way to get to. Uh, and in my opinion, they got to show a little bit more intensity. There yeah. wasn't a whole lot in that first half, and East Peoria was the aggressor, and Metamore was playing from behind the entire first half. Well, you started a different lineup. You started all seniors, and, and it's. I think this is going to be a different half. About a minute to go here before the start of the second half. How many points did you have for Jake Nealon? None. He had the first two of the game. That's how. Oh, yeah. that's right. So four points, excuse me, for Kaiser Quick and two for Nealon. Must have thrown that under Quick and not Nealon. So as we get ready to start this second half, it'll be East Peoria's ball to start the second half. Menomore will come out with the starting lineup, typical starting lineup of Nealon, Kaiser, Swanson, Schroeder, and 
Drew Tucker. Looks like Schroeder has changed jerseys. I think he was bleeding there a little bit in the first half. So he'll be wearing number 30, 30. now. For East Peoria, Chown, Dubois, Mables, Torno, and Jack Knapp. Memphis got to turn up the intensity here. They, you can start to see the intensity come there late in the second half, but East Peoria was still able to get a few buckets and keep their lead. East Peoria is no stranger to playing spoiler. Redbird's making them work. Dubois, free throw line, got it. That mid-range jump shot has been killer tonight for East Peoria. And Jack Dubois is just like his dad. His dad made a living on that. Birds need a bucket. Schroeder going to go to the basket quick. Had it swatted, and it's going to stay here. Good defensive play. I believe that was Mables. Or was it Chown? It was Chown. I think Mables was the one that hit the deck. Drive, tough shot, floater up and in, Zach Schroeder. On his senior night, showing out a little bit here with eight points. I don't know if you realized it, but Saturday when they- And they picked it there. Yeah. Zach Schroeder's got numbers, throws it up to Kaiser. Throws it away. Gotta be smarter with the ball, especially yep. when you're trailing. Saturday in that game where he had, uh, what, nine points? And Tough shot, no good. Rebound goes to Tucker. He quickly goes the other way. Lay up, can't get it to go. Got to have that one if you're Metamora. He almost had a triple-double. He had nine assists also. Really? Yeah. Jake oh. Nealon had it swiped away, but it's going to stay here with East Peoria. Metamora, here in the second half, much more active defensively. Oh, yeah. But they're playing much better. East Peoria still clean that two-point lead, 30-28, 6-15, left to play here in the third quarter. Chown guarded by Tucker. Going to go to Dubois in the corner. Schroeder is so methodical on defense. It's yeah, they're gonna get a five, five second, second count. Yes. Probably should have been a foul on Schroeder, yeah. in my opinion. I thought he was on them pretty good. But there really haven't been a whole lot of whistles tonight. No, there wasn't. Nobody came close to being in the bonus in the first half. And um, it's like Schroeder, it's like he's playing chess almost on defense, and he's just waiting to see when you make a move, and that's off Sh Swanson. It's a tough pass to make, the long arms of Torno. Schroeder picking up Mables, a little before half court, Mables quickly, free throw, or floater no good. Kaiser with the rebound. And more working it here. Zach Schroeder pump fake. Shot. Oh, just left it I short. Mean, there's, there's a few shots. A few. I mean, Nealon should have got the charge here on the other end. That probably could have been a charge or a block. I thought there was enough contact. Torno throws it up and in. I mean, across his body, trying to shield off Kaiser. And he's got it. 32-28. He's pure lead. Tucker drive. Free or layup, no good. Metamore is missing point blank opportunity after opportunity right now. And putting East Peoria in the driver's seat. Kaiser Quick up off the bench here. Tornow 
airballed, but Jack Dubois right there. Rebound goes to Kaiser, but he can't hang on to it. Shot up, no good, but that's going to send it's just sloppy out of the play. line. It's just sloppy, sloppy play right now. Kaiser first one come in for Jake Nealon. First one missed from Tornow. And the second Sorry. one is up and good. Coach Greaves wanted a lane violation. Couldn't get it. East Peoria come out with a little bit of full court pressure. And they bring in a few reserves as well. So they're getting another hand on a ball. They shouldn't have been able to get a hand on it that easily. East Peoria is just slowly building it. You're waiting for Metamore to make a run. I mean, I, I just question how there's no contact there. You're going to have to fight through it. You're going to have to make a run. That, that's going the other way. Yep, yep. yep. Legal screen, Jack Knapp. Are we going to get our mass timeout? Yes, yep. we are. So 3.47 left to play here in the third quarter. East Peoria oh, been in control all night, up 5, 33-28. You let them hang around. You know, the, the, the sad part is right now, Ethan Kaiser hasn't scored yet. Hasn't taken a shot yet this half. Missed all six in the first half. You know, you say you can't let East Peoria hang around, but East Peoria really hasn't been hanging around. They've been in the driver's seat all night. Right. They've been the aggressor here. Metamore's got to find a way to flip the script. Yeah, and, and it's got to come, I think, from Ethan Kaiser or Ty Tyson Swanson because Tucker's done a little bit tonight. Schroeder's done a little bit tonight. Schroeder's our mainstay tonight. He's got eight points. Swanson with nine. <laughs> And then a bunch of guys with three and four. Need a bucket here, down five. 33-28, Red Raiders. Only one three on the night for Metamora, a staple of their offensive game plan. They really haven't shot a whole lot either. Schroeder, no I'm contact. Good. He's trying to get a whistle. I mean, he was bodied there. Couldn't get it. 33-30. They're not going to call it. You get, you've got to play physical. Now within limits there. Kaiser quick bit a little bit too much. Off his leg. Ooh, he got it back. Stayed in, yep. <laughs> Student section trying to get into it. Jones got it. Well, Seems good. like any time Metamore pulls within a possession, East Peoria's got an answer right away. That was good defense. They just, that's a good play. You gotta hand it to them. And Metamore throws that one away. Too many guys on that side of the court. Tornow and Reinders return for East Peoria. Mabel and Dubois get a, a break. Get it to Jones. Got to have that one. Well, that just bounced right back to him. Yep. Yeah, everything's going right back. To it. Metamore is very active, and they're getting tips, but seems like every time it's off Metamore or 
Right. East Peoria is able to corral it right back. Typical ones that we see turn into turnovers. 35-30, 225 left to play. Still lots of basketball left, but that's tough right there. Nas Jackson. Now how's that a foul, but Schroeder down here doesn't get it. It's fortunately the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. And Jackson gets it to go. That's eight point lead, that's their largest of the evening. We gotta, that's it, you just gotta start playing some good basketball here. Need a bucket here for sure. Oh, he's being held. There you and go. And he gets the basket anyways. Tyson Swanson up and in. And they're gonna get a body there. I think Menemore is a little surprised that's called a foul when typically it is, but tonight there just haven't been a whole lot of whistles. So when there are, Jackson drives, can't get it, rebound Kaiser. Nice defense by Metamora. We're gonna get a foul on East Peoria. This one on Jackson, but that's his third. He's got the only fouls, no, excuse me. He's got three of the four fouls on East Peoria tonight. Mabel's back in. All right, we just gotta go to work. Swanson, drive, kick. Kaiser trying to find something. Not a whole lot there. That foul's gonna go on Rinders. They wanna jump ball, but that absolutely grabbed the entire arm of Tucker coming across, so he'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Need these buckets. Got the first. First one up and good. Devin Dunn Comes back in. and replaces Kaiser Quick. You slap on a press? Yes. Got to find a way to cause havoc. Second one up and good. And here comes the pressure. Now you got to get back. They've got numbers two on one. Slap. Oh. Sent nice. away by Kaiser. Menemore quickly the other way. Tucker to the lane. And that's going to be a foul on Mabels. Tried taking the charge. Gets the block instead. You gonna give Swanson a rebound on that? Uh, it was Tucker. Tucker, are you gonna give, yeah, Tucker. Yep, and Kaiser gets the block. So next one up and good from Tucker. This last week in practice, uh, Menemore had a record that might stand for a very long time. Tyson, Tyson Swanson, Swanson, 147 consecutive free throws made in practice. Yep, that's that's huge. 38-36, East Peoria. Metamorphs climb back in this. They've done a nice job. This press has been awfully good. Quickly the other way, numbers again, and East Peoria's going to slow it down. East Peoria's been able to break the press pretty easily, and they've had numbers. They've had height. They've got height. Jones has got done on him. That's five. Oh, very close. Very close. Drive. Dish. Mabels. And we're just getting beat off the dribble way too easily. 40-36, 30 seconds left to play here in the third quarter. I don't know, I'll probably work this down for one. Almost threw it away there.
tries or didn't have it. He's going to drive. A lot of contact up at the buzzer. No. So at the end of threes, Peoria extends their lead 40-36. Take this time to thank our sponsors, Angie Powers with Keller Williams Premier Realty, Black, Black, and Brown Attorneys, Commerce Bank, Kevin Kyle at Edward Jones, Germantown Grill, Goodfield State Bank, Logo Wear, Mason Funeral Home, Metamore McDonald's, Michael's Italian Feast, MVP Mobile DJ Service, Snyder Village, and Zobrist Insurance. Redbird ball to start the fourth and final quarter. Metamore's got to find a way to turn this around and do it quickly. Boy, it just seems like everything is going East Peoria's way, doesn't it? Yep. So it'll be Redbird ball to start this fourth quarter. Yep, Menomore will bring out the same group they ended with. Kaiser, Swanson, Schroeder, Dunn, and Tucker. Again, Menomore turned up the pressure there, but East Peoria just had an answer every time. Zach Schroeder gonna pull up for three. Got Good. it. That's, That's a it. big one. One point pulls ball game. It. Yep, pulls it within one, 40-39. They weren't gonna guard him. Now you gotta go to work defensively. We've been beat off the dribble one too many times tonight. It's created a lot of the separation. Gotta communicate better on that one. Rinders, Jones, lost it, Knapp. Oh, he traveled. Skipped with the ball. Almost an over and back as well. Got to have that one. Got to get up though. Mabel's drives. Had it blocked by Dunn. Great job, Devin Dunn. Well, that was. He got beat and he recovered awfully quick. Jones goes by, shot, no. Oh, oh they're gonna oh, call oh. Schroeder on the foul. Maybe a jump ball, maybe. That's gonna send Jones to the line for a pair. That's one that's not been called all night. First one up and good. Dubois returns for Rinders. Second one up and good as well. So back to a three point lead, 42-39. Green drive Tucker. I mean, had his arm held. No foul. Jones rebound Torno. They find a way to get it out of there. Time and time again, just balls that Menomore is used to going their way. Jones 15 feet. No rebound. Dubois up and in. You can't let that happen. Rebounding has not been there for Metamore tonight. They've got to find an answer. 
Schroeder pump fake, drive, spin, up, and oh. can't get it to go. They'll Six have a minutes. chance at the free throw line. Six minutes left in the ball game. Redbirds trail by five. Schroeder will go to the line for two. Foul was on Jones. First one up and good from Schroeder. Kaiser comes in for Swanson. Probably give Swanson a little bit of a breather. Second one up and short. Oh boy. When things are not going your way, you've got to do the little things right. That's the first missed free throw of the night for Metamora. Dubois got it. The miscommunication on defense allowed him to slip in there. Schroeder with a little bit of a late switch call. It's still contested though. Schroeder drives, layup, got it. The big basket there for Zach Schroeder. That's going to get a timeout out of Metamora. 46 42, East Peoria leads. It's a 30 second timeout. Swanson will come back into the Redbird lineup. If I was at home, it's almost pacing time. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have the room up here for that. Nope, I may have to start standing. Yes, may have to result to the standing here. Right here is where big time players make big time plays and yep. uh, great teams really turn it on. Penamore's gotta find a way to do that. East Peoria's executed their game plan perfectly to this point. Ethan Kaiser just beat down the court too easy. Nick Torno gives the Raiders six point a six-point lead. Plenty of time, just under five to go. Schroeder thought about it. Drives, fouled, up, no good. Oh, they did no. call a foul, they yeah. did call a yep. Foul. So he'll go back to the line to shoot a pair. That foul was on Saul Chown. So Redbirds are shooting free throws for the rest of the game. They've got to be aggressive. First one up and rattles in. Lead back to five. Benmore's got to do a better job of, they did a very good job initially there, second one up and good as well, of forcing pressure, but Ethan Kaiser was not on his man and allowed East Peoria to inbound the ball. Five, five second, second count. count. And he was going to throw that out of bounds anyway. That's a great job by the Redbird defense. So Metamora, that's a big play right there. It'll be underneath for the Redbirds. They're going to throw it over top to Schroeder. He's going to go up. He was fouled the first time and then blocked the second time. Had it picked. Schroeder, layup. Got it. Got it. Brings it within two points, and East Peoria will take, take a, a timeout. Out. Big basket from Zach Schroeder. That's big. Cuts it to two, 48-46. A full timeout. Woo, doggy. Schroeder with 20 points.
And if you think it gets any easier, it does not. Lattimore goes on the road tomorrow night at Manual in the Manual shootout. Four twenty-four to go in the ball game. Lattimore trails by two. Zach Schroeder, pretty well putting the team on his back tonight. Can he lead the Redbirds to a victory? They're gonna have to force pressure again out the inbounds. Chown. And they're gonna get a foul. Yep. Yeah, it was. It was. It's the fifth Redbird foul. So Metamore's got one more to give. 4.14 to go. And they throw it away. They tried going over the top. Ethan Kaiser dishes it off. No foul. Zach Schroeder up again. No foul. Oh, there's got to be a foul there. Tipped by Dunn. I mean, Schroeder was absolutely hacked twice. No dice for the Redbirds. And they're going to get a foul well, they get on a Tucker. Foul on him. We're going to get a mask timeout. Yep. I can't believe they didn't call a foul down there. I mean, not sure what more you got to do. East Peoria looking to shock the middle line eye a little bit and really open the gates. Menemore looking to hopefully pull this one out, a gutty one. Yep, 3.47 to go in the ball game. It'll be East Peoria ball out of bounds. That was a nice steal by Kaiser and you gotta give East Peoria they, they, some credit for getting it, back. Yeah, they played it perfectly. They knew they were going over the top and Kaiser leaked a little earlier was able to tip it away. And throw it in the backcourt to Jackson. Tornow throws it up, throws it in. I mean, it's it's they're not even good looks, Scott. I know, and everything's going in for him. I mean, everything is going in. 50-46. Schroeder up, can't get it to go. Swanson up, got it. Got it. Schroeder with rebound. Uh, Tyson Tyson Swanson Swanson. with the rebound and basket. And they throw it away. Right. No, it was tipped. 307, Redbirds trail by two, 50-48. Jeff Swanson with four rebounds. Uh, three. They're gonna throw it deep. Jack Dubois, they've got numbers. Oh, he traveled. A block by Swanson. Up, no. Rebound is gonna stay here. Yes, it is. Oh, man. Great hustle from Swanson to get down the court. I thought he traveled first, to be honest. Mabel's returns for Chown. Three minutes exactly to go. They're gonna run it. It's gonna stay here, East Peoria. That's that's a lot of contact there. Personally, I would 
would have seen a foul call. Torno up, got it. He's taken over here. 2.43 and counting. Pennemore just can't get a stop defensively. When they do, they don't get the offensive stop. Schroeder up, no good, rebound. Kaiser can't get it. Mm -mm -mm. Mabels, got it. That's can't. And they extend their lead back to six. Tucker drive, got it. Timeout, Coach Greaves. 2.05 to go. There's still a lot of time. Yeah, still plenty of time. Only a four point game, but Metamore defensively, they just can't get a stop, and East Peoria is able to get through the tight window. I, 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 I can't, I just can't figure out how they've been able to do this for an entire game. I mean, everything they, they, they throw up there goes in. Mm -hmm. Tornow has taken some ugly looks that have found their way in. I mean, his three baskets here in the fourth quarter have just been huge for them. Every time Menomora is able to force a turnover, they're just not able to get the basket to finish it. They're going to throw it over the top to Jackson. Menomora is trying to get a foul. I mean, what more does Menomora have to do? Dunn was all over. There's an illegal screen there. Oh, he pushed off. He Time pushed out. off. Did you see Peoria, that? Yeah. And, I mean, there wasn't. There was a little bit of an arm there, but not a whole lot. Timeout, East Peoria. One forty-four to go. Redbirds need a stop and a bucket. One forty-four. Have they not? They knock off Morton. No, they lost. Who did Morton, or who did East Perry? East Perry knocked off somebody pretty good. They've beat Canton and they've beat Pekin. But Pekin is second to last in the conference right now. So they're only two conference wins. Canton was the one that beat Morton. That's right. That's right. Oh, that's over oh, that's and over back. back. That's over that's and over back. back. Oh man, Chown kicks, Mabel three. That would have probably put the nail in the coffin. That's Swanson. Yep, Schroeder drives, kicks, Tucker three. Got Good. it! Drew Tucker! Cuts the lead to one. Quickly the other way, Jackson. Guarded by Tucker, and they're gonna get a foul. Oh my goodness. What a turn of events. Fouls on Swanson. It's gonna send Jackson to the line for one and bonus. It's a big one here for Jackson. Too strong. Rebound to Schroeder. Metamore with a chance to tie or take the lead depending on what happens. Well, they're only down one. Well, assuming they get fouled, they're gonna go Swanson, three, too strong, rebound Tucker. Metamore's gonna get a timeout. Metamore is going to get the timeout. With under a minute to go, Colton. Under a minute to go. 5.39. But you know, the, the one thing about it is they've put themselves in a position to win. Mm -hmm. As badly as they've played, they've put themselves in a position to win. Are, are, you, are you working it down here for one and taking your chances? I, I try and get are the you best shot to, you can, Yeah. regardless, and then play good, some good defense. Both teams with two timeouts left each.
You wanted a good basketball game, and you got one here tonight in Metamora. Yep. It's been East Peoria all night, but Metamora with a late rally here. Can the Redbirds make a comeback, or can the Raiders fend off the top team in the middle line? Gonna throw it into Schroeder. Gets a screen. Schroeder drives. Up, got, oh, it. got it! Zach Schroeder Red gives Metamore the lead. 55-54. East Peoria the other way. And East Peoria is gonna take a timeout. Wow. I thought Schroeder got fouled there too, didn't he? I, I couldn't tell. There was a lot of bodies around the hoop. So Metamore up. He's got to play great defense at 39 seconds. It seems like these 39 seconds could take 39 minutes. Yeah, yeah, it's... Schroeder with a big night, 22 points. He's filling up the uh, shot chart on the scorebook. Well, they did. They took the first shot they could get. Great set play. Got the screen exactly... I mean, the ball was in the hands of who you wanted it to. Yeah. Zach Schroeder, who's been able to get to the basket all night. East Peoria's got one timeout left. Menomore has two. Both teams are in the bonus. Same group that's been out there, Dunn, Schroeder, Tucker, Kaiser, Swanson. Don't get beat back door. They're gonna throw in the backcourt to Jackson. He's guarded by Tucker. What will East Peoria draw up? Look for something at the basket. They're gonna drive with Jackson. Shot blocked, block. rebound Swanson. East Peoria's got a foul. Oh, they're just letting him they, run up they the gotta let. Yep. Get it to Tucker, and they're going to foul. Huge, huge possession there from Renamora defensively. That's going to send Drew Tucker to the line to what shoot night. one in bonus. What a night by Drew Tucker. This one's far from over, folks. Got to make free throws here. Boy, I'm surprised they didn't foul right away. Ah, I know. I wasn't sure if they were waiting to see if they get a 10-second call. First one up. No good from Tucker. Oh boy, gives East Peoria one more chance and they're gonna call a timeout. Under 10 seconds. 10 seconds left. 9.7, man, oh. that's, you needed those. We've lost a game once this year already for missing free throws and could it come back to bite Metamore again? 10 seconds, or nine seconds to go, basically 10. Yeah, 0.7. Redbirds up by one, 55-54. Gut check time. I wonder if Coach Greaves will think about taking a timeout himself here. See what East Peoria comes out in. Dubois to inbound, throws in the backcourt to Jackson. Jackson's looking. They're going to Tornow. Dubois at the, nope, it's short. Metamore wins, 55-54. Oh, the Redbirds escape with a victory. Boy, they, they just, they battled through that. You know, you say you only have a few nights every year that you're actually on your game. And the rest of them, you just got to battle. Metamore had a battle tonight. Redbirds battle, and they get one to go at the end. Great defense. Oh, boy, what a game. Again, Redbirds pull out the victory, 55-54. Our player of the game, MTCO Digimax player of the game, Zach Schroeder, 22 points for the Redbirds to lead the way on senior night. We're going to step aside, take a breather after that one. And we'll come back with, I'm sure, a very happy head coach, Danny Greaves.
two, test one, two. Welcome back to Tepke Gym. We're here with head coach Danny Greaves. Uh, coach, you, you pull out a close one tonight. It's just never easy in this league, is it? It never is. You know, and, and we I guarantee you, we beat them as bad as we could. We didn't hold anything back. But you got to give it to our guys. Down six late, hadn't had a lead, and they just stuck in there, man. It was, it was really fun to watch them not give up. And you can see the look on their faces, and every time we call a timeout in the huddle, they expected to win this game. And, you know, I do believe, you know, through time, growing up, freshman, sophomore, even before that, winning and losing is, is a learned trait. And, and these guys have learned how to win. And it was really fun to watch them pull it out. I, I think, you know, there's definitely some credit in order to John and his team. I mean, they, they came to play tonight, and it seemed like everything went their way until the yes. final shot. Well drilled, well prepared. I mean, you know, they're going to take 35, 40, 45 seconds, make us work through ball screens and cuts and you name it, and then take a good shot. You know, they, they were very well scripted in, in their roles, and their kids were uh, real stars in their roles. So you got to give it to them. Senior night here, a special night. Everyone uh, on the court celebrating uh, after a close one, but no one bigger than your senior, Zach Schroeder, tonight. 22 points to lead your team. Was he not a load? You know, it, it's so fun to watch him play at times, you know, when, even on defense. You know, late in the game, he's going to get that steal. He's going to get that deflection. He's going to make something happen. And uh, offensively, you know, he, the three he hit from the top of the key tonight was huge. And, uh, you know, I know he can shoot that thing, so I'm, I was glad he took that shot. Is that something that you're trying to get him to do more, is possibly take some of those open looks that well, we often see? I definitely know he can knock that down. I think that the, myself and the coaching staff probably have a little bit more confidence in his three than he does. You know, so we, we've been, you know, harping on him to try to go ahead and, and, and get that. And just, you know, when they give it to him, take it. And uh, it was sure nice he, and glad he did that tonight. You're down one, 54-53. You draw up a play out of the timeout. You get it to the hot hand. Zach Schroeder who done yeah. a great job of getting to the rim all night. Fought through some contact as he did all night, but boy, he made it worth it. And just some of the acrobatic finishes that he has are just unlike anything you'll see. Well, he has such a, a good command of his weak hand, his left hand. And so if you, 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 you play him on that strong hand, and he, he makes that spin and come back. He's very hard to stop. You know, you look elsewhere, obviously Tyson Swanson was big. His chase down block there after they had had numbers. Yes. Oh, boy. That, that, that'll be a play that will probably go unnoticed when possibly, you know, people look at this game. Well, and they might, but it didn't go unnoticed by us because that, those kind of plays, those in charges, which we didn't get any tonight, but we didn't attempt them. So, you know, that's something we've got to get better too. But down the stretch when we needed stops, uh, our kids did a really nice job, even that last 9.7 seconds. Good teams find a way to win, Coach. Your guys did that tonight, and I just it goes to show their resilience. And in gut check time, it, they pulled it out. Well, it, it's nice to go 8-1 and one in the conference. Uh, we've been through everybody so far. Uh, we've got East Peoria again at their place on Tuesday night, and that's going to be a real challenge. You know, hopefully them would be another letdown. But uh, we've got a heck of a game tomorrow night at Manuel. Uh, they've got a big shootout and we're the marquee game at 7 o'clock. I've tried to set up our schedule so we can get exposed as often as we can. And I told our guys right after the game tonight, I think we've been exposed quite a bit. And the great thing is we've kind of shored up some of those things that's been exposed. And it's it's really now time to, you know, we got eight regular season games left to make that stretch run and, and uh, get our chemistry right and get our, our team healthy and make a run at this thing. Move to 17-7 and seven on the year. Six. Eight 17, 17 and six. Six, yes. Yeah. 17 and six on the year, eight and one in the middle line. I, coach, uh, a dandy of a win tonight, and uh, your guys really earned this one here on senior night. Hey, thank you so much. It was fun to watch our guys. You know, tremendous crowd. Uh, it it th th this this night, you know, with the snow on the ground and cold outside, and you know, it, it just reeked of high school basketball in Central Illinois. They got a good one tonight. Tuning in on MTCO Live and. Uh, the crowd that was here tonight. Coach, we'll let you go, and uh, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow over at Manual. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate all y'all do. Thank you. That'll do it for us here tonight on Redbird Replay. We'll go through the stats real quick. Zach Schroeder led the way with 22 points. Uh, next up was Tyson Swanson with 13, Drew Tucker with 12. You got four points from Kaiser Quick, two from Nealon and Schwarz as well. For Scott Kirker, Tom Hagen on the camera, everyone back at the studio, MTCO, Mark Goodyear and everyone else helping out and helping this operate the way we can. 
Colton Kaler signing off on a Redbird victory tonight here from Metamore. 55-54 Redbirds with the winner over East Peoria. We'll be back tomorrow at Manual.